Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration, Tuesday, May 14, 2024. May God be with you today and may His peace be upon you. I pray that as you go throughout the day that you will look to Him who is able to save and may you depend on Him who is able to rescue. Our reading today comes to us from Revelation chapter 1, reading from verse 7 to 8. And it says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for his words of kindness and wisdom. And as the reading tell us, and as we learn this morning, that the Lord will come again. He said that he will come with clouds. He will come with the heavenly host of angels. And we know that in scripture, clouds can also mean angels and in this case it does mean angels he said that he will come with clouds and what every eye will see him so we all will see him both those who are dead and those who are alive he also make reference to those that crucified him those that pierced him they will see him as well so what what can we take from this that from the beginning of the earth until its ending or up until his return all those who have occupied this earth from that time until now whether they have passed away or they are still living at his coming we all shall see him amen and it says that what they shall wail because of him or the kindreds of the earth they shall wail now wail is cry now why would they be wailing or who will be wailing you may ask those who have not made it right with him and so of course they are gonna wail because this is it for them they are going to be destroyed because what they have been found wanting and so destruction will be their faith and so they will wail because when they remember all the opportunity that they have been given to surrender their life to Christ and they did not surrender. They remember all the opportunity that they have been given to come to him but they refuse or they, they find some excuse not to. And so when they realize now that it is all true all that these crazy people has been saying all along it is all true and they realize that now their faith has been sealed and they can't change the situation they are going to wail and so they will feel such discouragement such burden such sorrow but at this point in time it is going to be too late don't let it be too late for you leave the world and come to Jesus. He is inviting you to be a part of that great morning when he will come and take his children home. He says that I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. So I am King. I am the authority of this entire universe. I am the beginning. I am the ending. And I am the present. So I am everything. And he says that what? I am is or I am which is and which what was and which is to come so we see so it is suggesting or it is showing us that christ was there from even before the beginning before the existence of time he was there and he's here now and he will be there at the ending so don't you want to be aligned with him i certainly do and so let us not find ourselves in the same position as those who will wail at his coming those who will lose our soul 
because we refuse to heed his word and his warnings. God loves us and that is why he gives us these information to draw us back to him. So these word that has been given to us is God love letters to us. He's in love with us. You know, just like when you are in love with somebody and you, you write a nice romantic letter to the person to express how you feel about them. I know people don't really much do that anymore. Everybody, they'll send a text or whatever, but maybe one or two people will still write letters. You know, but there's something about letters that even a text message sometimes cannot capture the essence. It's, it is just so... I don't know how to explain, but it's a different kind of emotional experience, if you want to use that term. And so he wrote these letters to give to us, to tell us that, look here, this is how I feel about you. This is what I want to do for you. And so that is why I am sharing my feelings, my thoughts, my desire and my plans as it relates to you. And so as the reading says yesterday let us not turn a blind eye to what he's saying but let us listen to him because in the end we will benefit from obedience to him because our reward will be eternal life and glory may god continue to bless you and keep you in jesus name amen